Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Outriders video. Another one. The old reliable legendary helmet is pretty awesome. Comes with a rank 3 mod that we're going to be testing in today's video. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just a little bit entertaining, Please, by all means, you can follow, like, subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially right here on YouTube. Why? Help these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm, and I'm able to do more giveaways. Now, the old reliable. Let's first start off with how I got this to drop. I got it doing a CT14 run at the Scorchlands. Now, we all know these are random drops, but I like to catalog when I get these drops and where I got them just for information. Now, I'm helping my dude smooth out doing a CT14 run. Now, I'm not live streaming, but look, if you need some help when I'm not live streaming, I will play with you. Just hit me up over on Discord or on Twitter, and uh, yeah, we'll figure out the best time for you, and I'll help you out like I'm doing my dude smooth right here. Now, this is a CT14 on the Savage Lens, and yeah, I wasn't expecting to get something I've never gotten before, but bam, there it was the old reliable now i got this while i was on my technomancer and of course this is really cool comes with the rank 3 mod called introvert increase the range at which enemies are considered close by two meters sounds familiar that's because it is if you go atop tree on that technomancer we have two different nods called nitrogen capsule which decreases the distance considered to be long range by three meters very similar this one long range this one close range so obviously this is a really good one comes with dumb dumb bullets as well you can use this on the techno master and yet enemies that are considered to be close range will be closer by two meters so what i did is i decided you know what i'm gonna put this on my trickster why because the dude is all about close range right and of course we're going to be using shotguns so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to use our trickster we're going to be using the old reliable and we're going to see exactly how good this mod is now you should see something pop up right there that's a video i did on my ultimate trickster tank build three piece chrono suit well we're going to have to switch things up a little bit if we're going to use this old reliable well since we have sharp eye on there we're going to switch out that Dum Dum Bullets the Sharp Eye and for our lower chrono suit we're going to swap out the time space protector we're going to take up a lot away from our tankiness we're going to put it back to our twisted faith 30% critical damage and this should be comparable to what our build was before except for we won't have that three piece bonus set but everything else is pretty much the same firepower cooldown close range and a little bit of long range mitigation from death and on our weapons of course we're rocking out with the death shield anomaly effigy god roll and away we go with some testing we're going to the kim plant ct15 and the first thing we want to do is test the anomaly effigy and then we're going to switch to our death shield and then we're going to test out that now remember we're going to be testing out that rank 3 mod intro that's what this is all about close range damage now, when you're rocking with a shotgun, we all know that hitting enemies from distance is pretty much not good because damage fall off. Well, with this, it should help with the damage fall off, and it, it, it really is. We all know the anomaly effigy is not really great at range, period, especially when it comes to shotgun. Pump shotguns, pellets, you know, it spreads. It's not great when it comes to long range so we're getting actually some decent damage at distance not great but decent but then again the anomaly effigy is not great when it comes to range at all but yeah it, it's working as intended i guess but what we're going to do we're going to flip to our death shield because the death shield has some really good range on it because it is a slug variant thus more range now what we're going to do is we want to wait till we get our rounds back and what we're going to do right here in this situation is we're going to test out the distance with this elite enemy now normally you have to be up in these guys faces and that's what sucks about the trickster at least in my opinion but look at that double the distance and we're getting amazing damage anybody that's using a trickster class or using shotguns in general 
realizes that that is that's huge. That's a game changer, especially when it comes to elite, especially when it comes to flying enemies. So here we go once again. Now look at that. Almost triple the distance, 1.6 mil. Yeah, the old reliable is definitely reliable. And that Link 3 mod introvert, it's a game changer. If you can fit this into your build, yeah, it's pretty freaking good. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to this channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe because right here at Carpo Gaming, I do upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys, news from a whole bunch of different games, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll be having that giveaway going. I have a poll coming up real soon. It's up to you. With your help watching these videos, I'm able to give back more and do more giveaways. So thank you, everybody, for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.